2022 was an amazing year for Blues TD6, with some game defining changes like a couple new paragons, new bosses and new events. However, let's start from the beginning of the year and update 30, which wasn't a huge content update to begin with, but still introduced things like the second columns map, a few new achievements and 4 new monkey knowledge points. However, the fun in 2022 started with update 31, which was released on the 13th of April. This was one of the biggest and, in my opinion, one of the best updates BT6 has ever gotten, which included the most popular hero, Geraldo, and a new boss bloom called Vortex. Geraldo is one of those heroes that had a huge impact on BT6 gameplay in various ways. He was the second hero to ever achieve a 1 tower chimps, his items provide utility and DPS in almost every scenario possible and on top of that he finally allowed us to get a degree 100 paragon in single player through his paragon power totems. Another huge addition in this update was Vortex which was a boss from previous BT games whose main abilities are stunning all surrounding towers, making projectiles bounce off of his temporary shield and speeding up all blues that are behind him. However, on the 4th of August 2022, Update 32 was released and while it was another huge content update which included a brand new event called Contested Territory and a brand new Paragon, the Master Builder, this update would unfortunately be riddled with some controversy regarding both big changes. Contested Territory is a game mode in which players are divided into teams and the goal is to capture and hold tiles for as long as possible by setting good scores. However, in the initial release, the score achieved on captured tiles would degrade extremely fast, meaning that there was no point in actually trying for a high score. Players could just wait for a couple of hours for the previous score to degrade and have a much easier time capturing the tile. Now Ninja Kiwi did respond to the feedback and made significant changes to the system. The event length was shortened to 10 days and score degrading was slowed down and while we don't have the numbers on how many people currently play contested territories, it is safe to say that the launch definitely didn't go as planned. The Engineer Paragon suffered a similar fate and the criticism with it was that it was missing some key parts from the Engineer Tower itself. Since Paragons are supposed to be some combination of all tier 5s, people were surprised to see that with the exception of the sentries, it had no other major features like the cleansing foam, the signature overclock and ultra boost abilities or the balloon trap. However, on the 12th of October 2022, update 33 would be released and this was another one where Ninja Kiwi would deliver some good content. This time around, the biggest addition was the Goliath Doomship Paragon and unlike the Engineer one, it was a combination of everything the people wanted to see and a bit more. It had homing projectiles inherited from the bottom path, seeking missiles from the top path and an ability from the middle path. In order to make full use of the Paragon though, the ability needs to be constantly targeted and in return you receive extraordinary amounts of damage making it the most powerful and also the most expensive paragon in the game. The last update for the year was update 34 released on the 7th of December which had another huge addition. It was boss number 4 called Dreadbloom. Dreadbloom is a unique boss in the sense that he's the only bloom to have immunity to hold tower categories. On top of this, the boss himself is basically just a big lead bloom which requires specific towers to pop and he also summons a new bloom type called rock blooms which inherit his immunities and behave like mini bosses. Now update 34 was supposed to feature a new tower called the beast handler which would be a completely new take on towers in general requiring other beast handlers to be bought in order to evolve it but this concept seemed too complicated and Ninja Kiwi pulled it out of the update and has not scheduled a release date yet. So those were all the major changes that happened overall a pretty good year for BTE6 and I hope you guys enjoyed playing the game and watching the content. But that's gonna be it for this one thanks for watching the video as usual if you guys want to support the channel you can use code ether retail and bloom store happy holidays and I'll see you in the next one.